First of all, all praises to the Father Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakadash. Shabbat Shalom to all the brothers and sisters in recognition to worshiping this day, the Most High, worshiping Him. Sundown this evening to sundown tomorrow evening. Let's get some praises, worship, and rest in Father. I mean, to the Father Yahweh. He's definitely uh, worthy of praises and honor and glory. Ba'ashem Yahweh Shai. As we just watched, you know, in Christian religion, as well as uh, Hindu or Muslim religion, we see um, these different um, idols, you know, of wood and stone, you know. Um, we have over here the cross, which this one happens to be stone, but as we know, it was formed as wood when they, you know, uh, hung the Hamashiach on. And then over here we have the Kaaba. I think I'm pronouncing it right. Where it's this wall where Muslims run around, you know, and they, they worship, you know. Just like what they do with the cross right here. And with the poster children, Native Americans, I said poster children, okay. <laughs> um, they worship totem poles, okay. And that's made by wood, you know. And then we got this graven image over here as well. The Star of David. You see, all of these particular uh, things right here are idols, okay? Um, but the Most High is not down with us worshiping graven images and idols, okay? And that's just what it is. Now, first of all, also, this is not to disrespect anyone's uh, religion and how they worship, but it does say in the Word that we are not to worship graven images okay and that's just what it is so without further ado my people let's get into the scriptures starting here in exodus 20 verse 4 thou shalt not make unto thee any graven images or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth okay it's that simple and clear. See, this is what the Most High is saying. And do we not see that these images are graven images and they are idols? Now, when we go over here in uh, Deuteronomy 4.28, it does say here, And ye, excuse me, and there ye shall serve God's, the work of men's hands, wood and stone which neither see nor hear nor eat nor smell <laughs> now does the cross see hear or smell does a total pole made out of wood see hear or smell the rotating wall of the Kaaba stone does it see or hear or smell of course not See, this is what it's talking about. Most High ain't no joke, man. He put it right out here for us to get. And there's no excuse. You know what I'm saying? When he say these things, he means just what he say. Because he knew that's what man was going to be doing. And are we not? I used to think, you know, a uh, long, 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 long time ago before I became in the truth, the faith, you know, the Most High, by Shem Yahweh Shai. That it was a good thing to worship a cross, you know, with the white Jesus on it, you know, nailed to the cross and all that kind of stuff. I used to think that. Till I found out it's not. And that is a graven image, you see. And then I started seeing that it was something off about doing it anyway, because how many people <laughs> do we uh, see get killed by guns? You know, um relatives or whatever may be shot or whatever do we make images of guns and put our uh loved ones on them and then wear them around our you know neck as chains of course not you know you wouldn't do that and so therefore you shouldn't be doing it with a cross when it pertains to the hamashiach you know just like with rosary beads in the catholic uh religion you know they got these rosary rosary beads and they got the uh, so-called 
Mother Mary, Mother, you or whatever, you know what I'm talking about, which is another idol that's formed with hands by a man. You know, reverse right back here to Deuteronomy 428. You understand? See, well, we got to understand what our true purpose is. And we're going to go over here in Deuteronomy 1012. Okay? And now, Israel, what does the Lord thy power require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy power, which is God, to walk in all his ways and to love him and to serve the Lord thy power which is God with all thy heart and with all thy soul this is the duty of man not to worship false gods and graven images and idols formed by man's hands okay and that's just what it is you know now we go over here to Exodus 25. Well, chapter 20, verse 5. What does it say here? It says, Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them nor serve them, for I, the Lord, thy power, am a jealous God. Okay? Visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generations of them that hate me right there is saying if you refuse to repent and bow to the most high in the name of Yahweh Shai but you rather bow to a false god an idol a graven image they can't see neither hear or smell formed and fashioned by a man's hands you hate the most high. You hate the most high. If you rather do that thinking that you are serving, you understand him. But then when somebody come and tell you different and tell you the truth and make you see and understand what's really what, what you're really doing, then and if you refuse, then you hate him. You hate him. Okay? That's just what it is. Let's go back to Exodus chapter 20, verse 4. Okay. Let's read this chapter right here. It says here, And God, your power, spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord, thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven images or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them nor serve them. For I, the Lord, your power, which is God, am a jealous God, visiting the iniquities of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. The Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. That goes into another lesson about his name. You know what I mean? Because as we know, there's no J's for those of us that do know in the Hebrew. You know what I'm talking about? So therefore his name, which the Hamashiach is not Jesus, you know? And the father said that his name is in the son and the father's name is said to be Yahweh, okay? It is in the word. His name is Yahweh. So then that would make the son's name Yahweh Shai. But it all depends on what dialect you are speaking in. Because you have the Paleo Hebrew and Yiddish Hebrew. And so there are different pronunciations when it comes to, you know, people, um, how they speak his name. Okay. 
Now we're going to read the rest of the chapter in Exodus 20, verse 5. Okay? It says here, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out. Well, we did that part. <laughs> Where were we at? Let's go beyond 5 or 6. Let's go to 6. No, 7. Well, this is it. We're going to go to verse 8. And that's it, actually. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. And that will be sundown this evening to sundown tomorrow evening, my people. Okay? Let's keep the Sabbath day holy. Let's get the rest. You know, let's get the worship and prayers into the Most High and thank Him for all that He does for us and all that He have done with us. Done, you know, for us, what I'm saying. We definitely need to do that. But yeah, back to the idols. This is a bad thing right here. You know, I know, see, this is what man does though. He messes up when it comes down to religion because it's all about him and not the Father. And the duty of man is to love and keep the commandments of the Most High, not worship idols. You understand? This totem pole over here, the Star of David, the Cabal, the rotating uh, black stone or whatever, or at least they rotating around it. And then, of course, the cross in Christianity. This is something that you just don't want to get caught up doing, my people, you know. That's pretty much all I got on this one. I want you guys to tell me what you think about this particular lesson. I hope you guys found it very edifying. And uh, just tell me in the comment sections what you think about it. You know, I'm interested in hearing your thoughts, views, and opinions on it. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And people, please remember to live your life as though we're being watched. Simply because we are. This is James, and I'm out. Peace.